what is going on everybody welcome to another video if you guys are new to the channel and you don't know who i am my name is jeremy and welcome to jeremy's wild world so guys you saw for today's title today's video is going to be a very special isopod unboxing now these isopods are really really rare here in the uk apart from when i pre-ordered them the only other time i've seen them available is one time on facebook now these isopods are super super rare and i'm really excited to unbox them today and show you guys how i'm going to be housing them and when the seller contacted me before he was going to post these at the time of recording this, he said he was going to throw in some magic potion isopods as well. So I'm going to be really excited to show you guys these isopods. Really, really happy that I have these. And yeah, so before I get into today's video, guys, I just wanted to quickly say, according to my YouTube statistics, a lot of you guys who watch my videos aren't subscribed. So if you enjoy today's content and you want to see more, click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell down below so you guys don't miss out on future content. So without further ado, guys, Let's get into today's video, shall we? So guys, getting into today's unboxing, as you can see from the top on the sticker, today's unboxing is going to be coming from Isopod King UK. If you guys are in the UK and you want to check them out, they I will leave their information down in the description below. They have an Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. I highly recommend do checking them out. They have some really, really affordable prices for a wide range of isopods. And no, this video isn't sponsored, but yeah. So getting into the boxing, guys, I'm super, super excited to get into today's video. The ice pods I should be receiving today are known as Cubaris Panda King. And Cubaris, if you don't know guys, in the ice pod hobby, they are in the same category as the well-known rubber ducky ice pods. And I'm super, super excited to be receiving my Panda Kings today. Now I paid for a culture of five and these were quite pricey. I won't be um, telling you guys the price today, but these ice pods definitely weren't cheap. I can totally see why because when I was speaking to the seller, it was very, very limited amounts that were for pre-order. And yes, I did have to pre-order these isopods today. And as you see here, guys, one pack of Panda Kings as well as a pack of, wow, 12. I was not expecting that. But yeah, so 12 magic potions. And he did put these in here in case the Panda Kings did arrive DOA. But fingers crossed they don't. And I just got myself a nice culture of isopods. So... Getting into the boxing here, guys. As you see, packaged really, really well with packing peanuts. Just gonna be chucking these down to the side for now. Ooh, I'm so excited, guys. Okay, so I see the Panda Kings are on this side. So what I'm gonna do, guys, is show you the magic potions first. So getting into the magic potions, as you can see, packed super, super well, guys, with substrate as well as some moss to ensure humidity. And wow, oh my goodness, guys check it out so this is armadillidium vulgare or vulgare magic potion a really really nice armadillidium species and oh my god these are such a nice size as well and as you can tell guys they are a white isopod with specks of black and brown i guess and yellows on their body there's a younger one there but these are a morph of the vulgare form and I can't believe I got these little buggers free. I did not pay for these. These were included in case any of the Kibaras passed away. As you can see, guys, there are loads in here. I'm counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So there's already eleven visible. So I wonder how many are actually in here. Possibly twelve, but we'll see later on once I get into opening it. And here are the panda oh guys check it out oh my god so these are cubaris panda king and wow check them out guys oh my goodness absolutely gorgeous isopod species and just look at their face they have the exact same face as cubaris rubber ducky and oh these guys are amazing so i did end up getting a pre-order of five of them but from what I've been researching online, these are actually quite prolific. So, fingers crossed that these guys will be breeding very, very well for me. And I'll have a large culture in no time. So, oh my goodness. So, there's two visible right now. Hoping that the other three are okay in here. But I will be looking into that once I start the rehousing. And, yeah, so that should be everything in the box at the very moment. Yes, that is it. So, let's get into the rehousing part of today's video shall we guys but the first rehousing of today's video guys is going to be of my magic potions armor delidium or magic potion and what i did was and i'm going to do the same for the cubaris panda king is separate them into a little cup 
just so I can count them. Unfortunately, there was one DOA, but that is to be expected. It is okay. I did end up with a nice culture of 11, and I'm not going to complain because I did get these ice pods for free. So what I'm going to be doing, guys, is placing them within this temporary enclosure, which is just a Tupperware container with a substrate of topsoil mixed with um, cocoa fiber with rotting white wood and mixed with leaf litter, moss on one side for humidity and to keep one side more moist than the other. Uh, this enclosure will be fairly damp because magic potions are vulgare and Armentidium vulgare do like a more damper environment, but with high ventilation. So the rehousing for these guys is just going to be super simple. I'm just going to be tipping the container in and just letting them run off into their enclosure. Now Armadillidium Vulgari Magic Potion is a nice spot that I've been keeping my eye on for a while and when I had the news that he was going to be sending me a free culture with no extra pay I was really really ecstatic. I was super excited because these are the cheapest ice spots here in the UK. They can be fairly pricey um, but yeah so here are my brand new Armadillidium Armadillidium Vulgari Magic Potion. Super super happy. Now these are little juveniles as they grow up, they start to get more of the yellowing patterns in their body, as well as the black spots. And yeah, so that is Armadillidium Vulgarable Magic Potion. Let's move on to rehousing my Cubaris Panda Kings. Now for the rehousing that I'm the most excited for, and I don't know if you guys are, but the next rehousing is going to be of my Panda King Cubaris. And as you can see on the lid here, I got five of the little ones. Did have to pre-order them, as I said before in the video. And I am very, very, very happy I finally have my hands on Kubara species. Um, I am looking into getting some other ones such as Shiro Utsuri or the Rubber Duckies, of course. But we all shall see in the future. My birthday is coming up soon at the time of recording this video. So I may or may not treat myself and get some more Kubaras. But for now, I'm going to be starting off with the Panda King. So again, like I said, I did dig through the substrate to look for the little ones. And oh my god. I'm gonna not try and shake these guys up too much but I have been admiring them for like the past five ten minutes like I've just been sitting here just looking at them because just look how gorgeous they are with the greys and the blacks and that white patterning that distinctive white back that gives them a name panda and the panda king and they're just absolutely gorgeous all of them are alive and um, just a couple of them have curled up right now as you can see, when they do wake up, they do try to wiggle around. But yeah, so I did get five of these. And I've heard that they're quite prolific. So I'm fingers crossed that I do have some males and females, a good mix. So I do get a nice colony starting soon. So the enclosure they're going into, guys, let me just quickly zoom out. Is another Tupperware enclosure with lots of ventilation. Um, the substrate is topsoil or yeah, topsoil mixed with cocoa fiber and wood chips and rotten wood leaf litter on the top and a nice piece of bark i was going to put bark i was going to say in the last clip i forgot to mention it i am going to put bark in the magic potion enclosure eventually but i did run out i'm going to go collecting tomorrow and yeah so i put some moss only in the corner and i'm going to be misting the top every so often but yeah so let's put these little ones inside shall we so i'm just going to zoom in a little bit push the enclosure just a little bit back and let these little ones run off into their enclosure Ooh, there we go oh look at them all scuttling off oh my god guys just check them out they are just absolutely gorgeous and there they go all running away i probably won't be seeing these little ones for a while because i've researched that they do like to bury a lot but i do not mind at all i'm super super happy that i finally have a cubara species in my collection and yeah so that's the end of today's video guys let's get to the outro so guys that's the end of today's video i hope you guys enjoyed seeing the unboxing of today's video i'm really really happy with all the super rare ice pods i got today and big shout out to isopod king uk if you guys haven't checked them out already i'll leave their information down in the description below go check them out if you want any types of isopods they have a really nice range of isopods and yeah so i'm super happy with the cubaris panda kings they look amazing and I can't wait for that colony to take off and I'm really, really appreciative that he did send me a culture of Volgare Magic Potions. I can't wait for that colony to grow as well.
So guys, if you enjoyed today's video, I'd really appreciate if you would click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell down below so you guys don't miss out on future content. I'd also really appreciate if you guys would follow me on Instagram, Jeremy's Wild World underscore. I post videos and pictures of the inverts and animals I keep when I don't upload on YouTube. So guys, that's all from me today. Leave a like, leave a comment, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>